In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly change the IP address on a Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center, formerly known as the Firepower Management Center. I know I showed you how to do this in the previous video, but this video is just going to be quick, showing you how to set and then change the IP address on an FMC if you need to do that. All right, so here we are. I'm going to log in with admin and then capital admin123. And again, I'm just going to go through the initial setup, which is really quick on the FMC. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how to change it if, if you put in the wrong IP address. Now I'm putting in a new password, fully qualified domain name, manual, and then we can see the defaults. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the right IP address that I need here. But if I forget or put in the wrong one, we need to be able to change it. So we'll take a look at that. I'm going to just type in pool.ntp.org. That one works. And if these are correct, it'll only take a second to bring this up. Then we can go ahead and show you how to change it real quick. I did again in the video before kind of show you how to do it, but it was a longer video. So this is nice and quick. So I have to go into expert mode, but I want to show you a couple things. So I can type in version and show us our version here. Then I can go into configure, take a look at some of these show configure system. And notice from here, I can restart and shut down. And this is an important thing. So I know I can go in the FMC CLI and restart it or shut down it from here. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. And then we're going to go into expert mode and go ahead and show you how to change the IP address of the management system here. USR slash local slash SF for source fire slash Ben. And now I'm in the location. So now I want to type in sudo configure network. And from here, it's going to tell me to put in my password again. And now it's going to say, hey, do you want to configure your IPv4? Now it gives me the old one, so I can just press enter here, or you can change them. And if these are correct, we'll go ahead and just leave it. Say no to IPv6, or you can go ahead and set it. And it's going to update, and we're good to go. That's it. Nice and quick, just in case you needed to change the IP address of the management of the FMC.